So, Jacob, what's the mood been like since that comeback point against Swindon with 10 men? Um, obviously, the camp, camp's been happy. Um, I think we did well to, to get back into the game with the 10 men that we had on the pitch. Um, and obviously, the subs coming on, um, it was a real real squad effort. So, everyone everyone pulled their weight and, and we're happy with the point. And um, we don't want to lose at home and we managed to avoid that. So, we're, we're quite happy with that point, yeah. Interesting you say you're happy with the point because one of those games where I guess it feels like a win, but you could actually have won, couldn't you, as well? Yeah, we had a few more chances as well. I think it was it was quite a good game, to be fair. I thought they were, they were a very good side as well. Um, and, and any team could have won it if, if 11 players were on the pitch. Um, but I think at home, if, uh, if we don't get the sending off, I reckon we go on and win that game. Was there a belief after the sending off that you could get it back to Tool? I think so, yeah. I think whenever we've played at home, we've, we've always done well. We've always played with energy. Um, so we knew we just had to keep going because we played well in the first half. Um, and, and the boys are fit. We had a tough pre-season, so everyone's, everyone's fitness is right up there. So all we have to do is keep going and, um, and work as a team. Do yes, you reckon that's already paying dividends, tough pre-season and fitness levels? Um, I'd say so, yeah. I think a lot of teams have um, gone away from doing loads of fitness work but obviously the gaff is really big on it and um, we had a really tough pre-season and I think as we've gone into the season I think we're, we've we um, shown that that's paid off because we had the late goal against Warsaw, the late goal on the weekend, um, even at Gillingham away with two one down, ten men, we, we had a few chances late on there as well so I feel like we can go for 90 minutes, 90 plus minutes especially with the added time that we have now. Yeah, it's important, isn't it, with that added time? Yeah, exactly. If you're 1-0 up or you're chasing something and you've got 10 added minutes and you need to keep going for that, that period of time. A couple of players got off the mark, Jake Taylor and Ethan Walker. How important was that? Yeah, obviously um, we need to do well in this league. We need goals from everywhere. Um, and obviously Michael's going to carry the brunt of that, but it's good for, for everyone else to chip in. Yeah. yeah. How good is it to have Michael back this weekend? Um, yeah, yeah. Obviously, he's a, a bit of a talisman. Um, he, he seems to always get make his chance chances in in every game he's played. Um, so yeah, it'd be good to have him back in, and um, hopefully, he can get a few goals. Another player doing well is Stuart Moore in goal, isn't it? And, and playing in front of him, what difference does that make? Having someone performing well and steadily behind you. Yeah, I, th- I thought he was top draw on um, Saturday with a few really big saves. Um, and I think he's he's really coming into his own uh, now, um, making save after save. I think the stats are saying that he's stopped the most goals or expected goals or whatever the stats are now. Um, and yeah, I think he's obviously a solid goalkeeper. Um, and yeah, it just gives you a sense of if, if someone does have a shot, then you kind of turn around and you're 70%, 80% sure to still keep it out. So yeah, it's been good. So you go to Forest Green, they're struggling, but shouldn't really underestimate them with the likes of Troy Deeney in the setup. Um, yeah, obviously um, they were in League One last year as well. They recruited well in the summer and it's still early doors, so a team can have a bad start. It doesn't mean they're a bad team. Um, and, and we need to sort out our away form anyway and, and improve uh, that aspect of our, our performances. So um, it'll be a tough game, but hopefully we can go there like we did last year. And, um, and get three points. Yeah, that was a key win last year, wasn't it? It, it was the first win and one of a, a couple of away wins all season. What, why do you think that there is this struggle away from home? I know it was League One, but it's carried on into this season as well, hasn't it, for a few games? Um, I'm not sure. I think maybe we just let other teams get, a, get their foothold in the game and, and enjoying the football. And, and if you're going away from home and you, you don't um, impose yourself on the game, then... Um, it's always going to be a struggle from there because you're getting teams have the upper hand. I mean, when teams come here, it's obviously a lot tougher than, than if we played them at their place. So it's always harder going away from home. But um, yeah, we do need to, to start picking up points on the road. But quite a few fans are saying that you know it has been a tough start to the season against some of the bigger clubs. There's now a run of games with no disrespect against clubs at the lower end of the table. Is that the case, do you think? Um... I think we had a we had a tough start. Yeah, I thought we did well to get the points that we have so far. Um, but I wouldn't say there's there's an easy game in this league. I think League One and League Two, 
if you're going away or whoever you have at home, it's a it's a real battle for 90 minutes. Um, so I wouldn't I wouldn't say that there's an easy run of results because as a team we, we'd like to beat everyone anyway. What about your own form? We haven't spoken since you got the international call up. What was that like and how's it been so far? Um, yeah, it was a really good experience. Um, it was the first time I'd been been to the setup, um, so. It was it was really interesting to see football in a in a different part of the world, and um, yeah, it was good, and and hopefully the first of many. Yeah, completely different part of the world, isn't it, to Morecambe? Yeah, I mean, you're playing and there's like a mountain with jungle all over, in the backdrop of the stadium, and it's just completely different to football here, um, and it's just a good experience. Yeah. Get money for your old phone.